Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the basic Hibernate interview questions, difference between session.get and session.load. Session.load, it will always return a proxy object without hitting the database. It will not talk to the database. It just returns you a proxy object. In Hibernate, a proxy is an object with a given identifier value. Its properties are not initialized yet. It just looks like a temporary fake object. For example, if your model class is customer and if you debug and check, this will be the customer will be uh, the proxy object will, will look like this. If no row found, it will throw an object not found exception. Say session dot load the entity class and the identifier so this will return a user proxy object so it didn't hit the database yet it just created a temporary object and it gave you the load method re re never returns null the get method returns null if the object can't be found the load method may return a proxy instead of a real persistent instance a proxy is a placeholder that triggers the loading of the real object when it's accessed for the first time. So after this line, if you put user dot get name at that time, it will hit the database, get you the real object. So it it looks like it is a lazy loading on demand. It will hit the database. So when to use the load method? If you are certain that there is an object exists, there is a row exists in the database table, and if it does not exist, it's an error. If you think like that, then you can have load method for that condition. What about get get method? It always hit the database and return a real object, an object that represents the database row. It will not return proxy at all. So it will either return object or it will return null if the object is not found. So this is the syntax session dot get the model class and the user ID. So it will return the real object immediately or if it does not able to if it's not able to find out the object in the database table it will return null hope these points are useful for you about get method and load method thank you and all the best